Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rejoice and I am about to show you guys how I create my thumbnails and maintain consistency with the design. Now this is requested by some of you so I hope you enjoy watching. So I use Canva to create my designs and once you open Canva what you do is you search for YouTube thumbnails so that it will give you the exact size that YouTube requires. Click on the blank or this plus sign to open a blank space for you to work with. Click on the plus sign down there to import the image you want to use on your thumbnail. You can skip this part if you don't intend to use any image on your thumbnail but um, should you really do that? Anyway, this is the image I'm going to be using for this thumbnail so I'm just going to crop it to resize it, you know, just make it the size I want. To remove the background, go down to Effects, BG Remover. This removes the background. Now we have a clear um, space to work with. So the next thing, click on the plus sign and add your text. Click the font icon to change the font. I like to use one particular font, at least for now. That helps me maintain consistency with my thumbnail designs. So use any fonts um, you want. I have just imported the image background I want to use. I made a video on how to do this. I'll link it up. Now, you can you don't have to use fake background. You can maintain the background of your photo if that's what you want. Click on effects. Click on effects again. Click on blur. Whole image. Then increase, I usually leave the intensity at 45. This is to blow my background to make it a bit more realistic and give it depth. Can click on the thumbnail, go to position and bring it to backwards. This will appear, make it appear behind the image. This background is a bit too blurry, but we're going to fix that in a bit. Now let's work on our image. Click on the image, click on effect, click on effect again, shadows, glow. Click on it and change the color to white. Then increase the size and intensity. Just do what you feel comfortable with really. Um, guys, so I had to change that background because I didn't like it. It wasn't contrasting well with my picture. So I'm just going to quickly run through the whole effects, everything, and this is what I have. Yep. To change the color of the text, click on it, look for color, and then you can change the color. I like to add outline. Go to effect, scroll until you find outline, click on it again, and then change the color to black. And that's it. I'll just adjust it to fit. So I've just gone ahead to add um, samples of other thumbnails I'm doing. Since this is a thumbnail for a video about thumbnails, I just felt, you know, there should be more thumbnails on it. <laughs> anyway, this is how you maintain consistency. Click on this and duplicate the um, thumbnail you already made. Click on it and then you can do your edit. This way you maintain your your you maintain consistency with your design all you have to do is change text and change your image and that's it your video your channel has like you know consistent design with the thumbnail and to download your thumbnails just click up here and download it's advised to download your thumbnails on jpeg i think that's the size that youtube recommends i can't remember why i saw this but i've always downloaded my thumbnails on jpeg um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!